Good morning and welcome to this week's episode of The Royce. Uh, this is where we raise you the soldiers for Christ. We want to thank all our subscribers who have continued to follow us on this uh, channel. Uh, since we started posting, we have had so many followers. God bless you even as we continue. Our topic this week uh, is uh, where do I belong? In this channel, I remember I shared uh, uh, a topic on who I, am I, who am I? And today I want to share about a question that most of us, we ask ourselves, where do I belong? You find, my mom used to, um, she used to ask when she was first frustrated, to remember frustrated sometimes, and then she feel, she could ask in Kikuyu, Leuniwa boidewao? Eh? And it is a common question uh, to many of us. And even you as a young person there, I'm sure there are times you're frustrated and ask yourself, now where do I belong? Nobody loves me. Whatever I try is not working. And you feel like you're frustrated. As, at times you even find that you don't like where you are born. You don't like even maybe your parents. I was listening to a lady who was talking about how her parents uh, have brought her up. She doesn't like it and she wish she was born in another family. But we want to look in it uh, in a positive way where you are born where you belong where should you should appreciate and know that God had a purpose um, it's a common question but uh, you will find that um, once you appreciate where you are born and you appreciate your people you appreciate your clan you appreciate your church you appreciate uh, where your parents have shown you to uh, maybe to, to be to be fellowshipping. You find that if you have a loving and an and welcoming and embracing church family, you find that you, you 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 will not ask that question. In the book of Isaiah 55, in verse one, let me just read. The Bible says, "Listen to me, you who follow righteousness, you who seek the Lord." Look to the uh, rock from where you are hewn, and to the hole of the pit from which you are dug. Look to Abraham your father, and to Sarah who bore you, for I called him alone and blessed, and blessed uh, him. Oh, the Bible is telling us we look at where we have come from, actually. We look at where at the rock from where you are you are hewn from the pit uh, at the at the pit where you are dug from this one simply means look at your background look at the family where you come from look at, at the company around you appreciate it if we look at our lord jesus christ our lord jesus christ uh, had come from the lineage the lineage of judah and um he also had a family on earth that is, he had the father, he had the mother, he had, he had his uh, brothers, and uh, he also had, uh, when he was 12 years old, his parents showed him, or uh, he started going to church. So he had a church family. And then a number, when he started now his ministry, you found that he had a, a, a clique of people he used to walk with. Our Lord Jesus Christ appreciated where he came from. When Christ was born, he was born in the lineage of Judah, that one I had said. Uh, in the book of Isaiah, we can get that. He was born a time like where we are uh, to set us free. That one, we know the reason why Christ was born at such a time as this. It is to set us uh, free, to reconnect the mankind back to God, and uh, even to, to that no one should... Uh, no one should uh, uh, get lost in John 3 16 the Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life but whoever does not believe what does the Bible say is already condemned and therefore Christ had a purpose on earth and um, because he accepted himself, he had he 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 had a purpose on that. He was focused to fulfill uh, his 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 assignment, and again, uh, he knew his assignment to fulfill. He fulfilled it, 
uh, then Christ Another good, uh, another example of Christ is Christ knew that he had a timeline to fulfill this, and uh, Jesus walked in cognito for 30 years, and he only had three years to fulfill his purpose on earth, and he did it. So another lesson we learned from Christ is he never wasted his time, and therefore, if you know yourself, uh, you appreciate yourself. You appreciate your lineage, you know who you are, uh, you don't waste time. Another thing, Jesus started his ministry, that one, he never wasted his time. Mm -hmm. Another thing Christ did, he was focused and he knew uh, that he had a short time, just as all of us. And so, one, in summary, what I want to say is that let us appreciate ourselves let us appreciate our family and then uh, we must also uh, have a church family also it's also important belong to a church family not only your family at home your church family uh, and in that church family you find that an adolescent who is uh, who belongs to a loving and a, uh, that is a, an accepting and a loving church family never has this question and uh, number two have a small group ministry in the larger church how and join yourself with a small group ministry you find that a small group uh, you have the same interest and you have the same focus so it is easy for you to feel that you belong that than a big uh, a big crowd you know when you walk so many and you are walking and you may be aimlessly it, it is easy to fall in sin but if you get a small group of people you have the same interest you maybe you can be doing the same common things like even when you are free you go hiking you can even go baking you can even go a lot to learn instruments and uh, you find that you build one another you feel that sense of belonging and you grow one another uh, you'll be you'll manage to develop one another a small group have a kind of an affinity, a positive affinity in both of you, in all of you. Know your interests, that is, know your interests so that you know whom do I connect with. And uh, avoid being idle, just sitting idle at home or just somewhere, being idle, being alone. That is something else that you make you ask yourself those questions. Mm. And then don't waste time, learn from Christ, that you accomplish so much within a short time. Christ accomplished his purpose on earth within three years. You can accomplish your purpose within the time given. Why, if you are at the university, you don't have to be completing your, your undergraduate uh, in six years. If it is four years, make sure you complete in four years and do something else. Don't keep on repeating. If you are in form four, make sure you do your best. Go to the next level. So within the time given, make sure that you finish what uh, God wants you to do at every level and you feel that you will never ask your question that question where do you belong at every level in your life you will always feel that you belong until the time you accomplish your purpose on earth God bless you God keep you in this season take care of yourself and meet you even in your schools when you open and institutions open God bless you until then remember to subscribe uh, to this channel and also press the, 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 the bell at the, at the bottom there so that every time there is uh, there, there's something to listen to you can get a lot. Subscribe and God will bless you.